The World Series is tonight. Uh, Houston Astros versus Atlanta Brave. It's going to be an excellent, but excellent game. Uh, so far, the series has, has been like never, never before as, as good. But I want to, uh, to establish some parameters because these games are being utilized as a political tool. Uh, Mr. President Trump attended one of the games. Um, they are saying the, uh, the, the baseball is synonymous with race, with racist, with racism. Uh, and, and that is erroneous. That is completely erroneous. But, but they are utilized nevertheless. Not as racism, but as ethnicism, ethnicism. And, and that is a word maybe that I created, I have no idea, I claim it, because I never heard anyone use it. Racism, racism, racism is cut, cutting. Ethnicism, the same thing, no different than the schism in the, uh, in the Roman church, it's a schism. It's something that they split. So, why, why am I talking about this? It's because during the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the series, they have Houston versus Boston, Boston. And go out there and go back and notice the, the names, the names on the, on the back of the players, they are not embroiled into their uniforms on the Boston team. They only, they only embroil those names on the back when they playing in Houston, but when they playing in Boston, notice they do not have it. Now, why? Why is this a conspiracy? No, it's not a conspiracy. It's an, a strategy. And the reason is that when you see the names on the back, you see names like Vasquez, uh, Altuve, uh, you see names, uh, uh, all kind of names, and those names are Iberian names. Those are not so-called English names or French names or German names. No, no, they are Iberian names, and the vast majority of the players are Iberians. And now, why is this? Because the United States of America during the 1800s, uh, uh, colonized these, these lands, like, like Cuba. Uh, most of the baseball players are, are from Cuba. And, and because of that, they, they transfer that, uh, that sport uh, uh, a strategy into the islands to maintain the island uh, 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 in a cohesive way, to have something for them to do and something for them to unite after. And that will be the United States of America baseball. So, so they, the population in Boston, the population at, in the Northeast of the United States of America, uh, they like baseball because remember, this is marketing, marketing groups. There is people who likes that, that likes soccer, soccer or football, United States of America football, baseball, basketball, volleyball, and, and all these sports. So they are tethered, all these, all these um, uh, uh, games are tethered to create a group, a specific group. And that specific group in the Northeast, they like baseball, they are conditioned white, white, and they do not like the Iberians. They are conditioned to say the Iberians are colors, the colors. That is the reason they don't put their names on their back. Only when they come here where the, the culture is completely different is everyone is from the Iberian Peninsula here. The, the, the majority of the, uh, the, uh, the citizen of Texas are with the background uh, uh, of Iberian, Iberian culture. Remember, we're talking about ethnicity here. 
no race. The race is the same. The race is, 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 is just your mother and your father. You know, you, you can be white today and black tomorrow. Or you can be brown and blue or you can be whatever. That's how you identify yourself. Your biology is the same. Mother, father, mother, father, mother, father. So what are we talking about here is no race. What are we talking about here is ethnicism, ethnic group. They want to separate the ethnic group of the Iberians out of the American continent and now create a new ethnic group called the whites, called the whites, and that is the key. This is a strategy that we've been utilized as humans for a very long time. It's not a new thing. Uh, the Etruscan uh, pass it to the Romans. Well, the Romans are the Etruscan, so they continue, they continue that uh, that strategy of utilizing sports to unite people. To the point, the Justacino um, uh, uh, or Justensio, uh, uh, a, a emperor, a Roman emperor, had a game, had a, 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 a shirin going around circle, and they have the population divided into color, into color code. So now they, they have one section color code blue and the other one color code green and they something happened and everybody started fighting one another to the point that they want to take over the government, take over the uh, empire. And Just, Justinio uh, or Justiciano, remember that, that this Justiciano is a Spaniard. Uh, remember that is, uh, that is uh, Trajano, Adriano and Justiciano. They are Iberians, you know, these are Roman emperors. And, and Justiciano said, no, I'm getting the hell out of here. But his wife and all their generals got together and say, hey, why don't we do this? Why don't we just kill one of them people? You know, one of the, the, the blue or the, or the green or whatever. Because that way we, we get away with the gang. We no longer have that unity. So what we do, we break that unity. Don't deal. And that is exactly what they do. They, uh, they brought some cheese, bread, and wine into the, um, into the stadium, like, you know, like the Brave Stadium or the uh, uh, Astros Stadium. And there were names, like today, Minute Maid, and they were named after industry to pay for it. No different than the Roman Empire. They unite all the fans, the same we do today, and then they brought the uh, legions and they killed them all. <laughs> that is what happened. They, they killed them all. So that is, that is an illustration of what is happening today. They are utilizing the, the, the players, in this case, the, the, uh, the, the athletes, the, uh, the, the gladiators, if you will, to attach meaning and then they sell you the industry around it. That is why you see commercials. That is why we have games. We do not have games to entertain you. We have game, games to sell you crap like this, like I'm wearing. Uh, you know, now I can go around and say, my team is number one and see, I am in a space city. So it's marketing, marketing. And I do not have no problem with that with marketing, but I do have problem with ethnicism. When one ethnic group tried to oppress the other one and made the other one disappear for them to elevate themselves, that I have tremendous amount of problem with. I'm going to give you an example. One of the players, his name is Verdugo. Verdugo, one hell of a player. Uh, uh, Velasquez, uh, Altuve. Uh, Carrera, uh, Guzman, Rodriguez, uh, Verdugo, let's pick up Verdugo, 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 what it means, what, it, what Verdugo means, well, Verdugo literally means executioner, executioner, the guy who execute you, <laughs> that is what it means, when he goes out there at bat and he positions himself, Verdugo is at bat, is the executioner is at bat. And that transferring 
of, of culture, that transferring of ethnicity is not being provided to the population of the United States of America. And to me, that is something beautiful that we must protect. Every European nation have it. They utilize it the same way we do. That is why they have baseball teams. No, I'm sorry. Uh, ball teams or football teams. On each, each, basically each town has one. Is to 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 unite to completely in, engulf their population in in that that ethnicity to transfer that ethnicity from one generation to the other. That is why we have in Europe uh, um, uh, processions where they bring the saints out into the town. That is why they have uh, 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 toreros, you know, uh, bullfighters. Uh, a bullfighter is not, it's not a sport, it's an art. It's to transfer, to transfer that ancient, ancient Phoenician civilization onto today. The, the Phoenicians, the kings of Phoenicia, uh, they fought the bull and, and that made them whole, that made them a single ethnicity. So we do it today for the same reasons. And we, they trying to destroy that, to destroy ethnic groups and to replace it with colors. And guess what happened when you, when, when we break down that ethnicity with colors? Well, history tells us <laughs> at, at the end, you have to kill them all because you cannot control them. They lost that identity. They keep them together. Now they are blues and reds. Now they are no longer, they are no longer Romans. They are blues and reds. Yes, you can sell them crap for a little while, but at the end, they will attack your capital like happened in January the 6th. And eventually the people who, who transferred that craziness to them is going to be at the ball game, like Mr. Trump and Melania, to do exactly that, to promote what they call their marketing. And that is the problem that I have. When they break down civilization to promote themselves, to promote a, a industry. And that is a no-no in my, in my opinion, it has to be, has to be dismantled. We got to dismantle that. We, we must protect each individual ethnicity, ethnic group. We cannot be we cannot be ethnicist. We cannot be ethnicist. Remember, there is not about race. They're trying to confuse you with biology. It's not about biology. It's about ethnicity. It's about your language, your religion. It's about, it's about how you identify yourself as a human. It's which group you identify yourself with. Not which baseball team, but which nationality. And we in the United States of America have, a, have the United States of American Nationals. And this country was founded by the Iberians, by the French and the Spanish. And who are they? They are the Dutch, <laughs> the Aush, <laughs> the Dutch. <laughs> and now, and now all these new countries created since past World War I, now they have somehow slipped into our country like they have been there for millennia. But they, they are not so. The Austrians are Spaniards because they were created by the Spaniards and the Italians, and the, all, these, all these names that we call today, they are actually tribes, Lombardos, Visigodos, Godos, uh, Normandos, you name it. And they continue to be there. They haven't gone nowhere. Uh, when you go into France, Northern France, you start driving from Normandy. Well, the Normans are Vikings. No, they are no Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Vikings means farmer. That is what it means. There is no such a thing as a Viking. 
That is just a creation to have ethnicism to make these guys looking bad. The reality is when you start driving all the way from Scandinavia, the Países Bajos, uh, Habsburg, Spaniards, and you for 300 years and you start coming down and now guess what? You're into, into Normandy. Now you start speaking different languages and you start coming down and now you speak Basco and then you can come down a little farther and now you're into Spain. So, so as you see, it's all a make-believe, and this in the United States of America is being utilized no different. What we have in these baseball games, the removal of their names of the back, that is ethnicism to, to, the, to, the, to the best advanced uh, properties. When you remove the name of the back of the player, that player is no longer in a specific individual. That is an individual, a gladiator that has not value. Because now you see it, you see it as a, just a player. No, as a player of my ethnic group. And that is the key. They want to break that apart. Because when you watch uh, the television and that those photons come at you and that noise is coming at you, those are images are coming at you. To you, those images are real in your head. It becomes your reality. You are looking at it. The reality, they are not real. They are created for you to consume. When, when you see that game and you see... The, the, the player with the name on his back, Verdugo. And you know the Verdugo means executioner. And you know the Verdugo is the Castilian version of executioner. You right away attach yourself to that. Oh, Verdugo, he is one hell of a player. I want to be like him. That is the key. Whatever Verdugo sell you that day, you will buy. I bought it. I bought me a little hot. Uh, no, I bought me like two hots or three, I think. That is what I'm trying to say. In the United States of America, racism does not exist. Does not exist. So let me, let me repeat it. In the United States of America, racism does not exist. What we do have is agnosticism. Now, go ahead and prove me erroneous on everything that I have said. Prove me erroneous, please. But when you prove me erroneous, make sure you give examples, correct examples. No, just talk your head off like a, like a marionette. Don't just spew crap out of your mouth on this channel. Go and pause and analyze the data. Follow the data. That is what my, my channel is trying to transfer to you. A way to analyze data correctly. No, to supplement in your head. We need to advance humanity. We need to take the primitive human that rationalize everything. Everything is somebody else's fault. Everything is somebody else's. I'm no. I'm number one. I'm. I made no errors. When 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 we stop as a humans doing that, rationalize, protect ourselves, and realize that we are idiots and that we have a lot of work to do, then we can start advancing. So do that. Stop. Improve me erroneous, but analyze how you're going to do it. And when you present an example of this error that I have made in my observation, please write it down in the comments and please subscribe to this channel. I want to have 1,000 subscribers so I can have a live stream, live stream. And I have never thought about doing live stream until a few weeks ago, my imagination decided that I want to do live stream and see how it works out. So please subscribe to the channel. Please tell 
everyone to subscribe to the channel. Uh, even, even if you do not agree with what I'm saying, that's okay. Don't agree with it, but make sure that you know why you do not agree with it. No, you say, Pavel is crazy, I don't agree with him. No, no, no. Stop. Breathe. Drink your beer, Coca-Cola, tea if you English, and say, why I do not agree with this man that is telling me that I am not a caller? Saludos.